three-time Lady Bing Award winner has not been done since 1933 through 1935. Pavel, how you feeling tonight? Stanley Cup? Selkie? <laughs> Lady Bing, what more is there left to do? No, it's a lots of work and uh, lots of trophy and uh, always we win Stanley Cup. It's a lots of like new and uh, thank you very much for... All coffee? Oh, loving the bucket. Everybody's loving the bucket tonight. You remember the SK? I do, absolutely. I got to ask you this question, but I'm not sure if the hockey nation knows this question. Are you still wearing your skates two sizes too small? <laughs> no, and actually I just bought a new pair of shoes. I think they're too big. Okay, we got a couple forwards and a D-man here, so I guess I got to ask this D-man couple questions. Norris Trophy tonight. Who's your call, my friend? I'm going to have to say Nick wins trophy. Yeah, you think Nick's going to repeat number three in a row this time? Yeah. Yeah? No one's breaking it? No Niedermeyer in the way? No, I don't think so. Dion doesn't have a chance? No. Zidano's not going to step on him and, and prohibit him from competing ever again? No, I highly doubt that. You highly doubt the guy's six foot nine for crying out loud. He dwarfs Lidstrom. <laughs> Between Zetterberg, Datsuk, and John Madden, who do you think's taking home that hardware? I think Zetterberg would take it home. Now you do know that playoffs don't count for these awards. Like that five on three killer, which he did twice, ain't counting for anything. So you're still thinking it's all Hank? Yeah, I think so. Very good call, very good call. Do you think that Zetterberg and, and Datsuk are gonna drop the mitts for that one and maybe tarnish Datsuk's shot at the, the Lady Bing maybe? Uh, it'd be possible, but that'd be pretty, pretty funny to see. This guy's my buddy, sporting the Stevie Y jersey. Number 19, my favorite player of all time. Your thoughts on number 19, Stevie Y? Say, simply the greatest person on the ice. Absolutely. Now, now, this is a question I like to ask all Iserman fans. Let's say we go back, it's the 1980s. Mario Lemieux, never even heard of hockey. Wayne Gretzky is busy taking ballet classes. <laughs> Would you say that Steve Iserman could very well have been the greatest player of the 1980s if those two guys said, ah, eh, hockey schmocky? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, we're on the same page. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of the greatest tough men of all time in this game. I like that helmet. Thanks. Bring back some memories there, oh, yeah. Proby, oh, the yeah. old SK. Yeah, bruised a few knuckles on those. Oh, well, let me tell you, man, it's an honor to be wearing this. It's an honor to be interviewing you today. Now, besides yourself, Proby, you get all these questions asked about current, past. If you had to, if you had to drop the mitts with somebody, any era, any time, who would have been the greatest oh. honor for you? Oh, geez, uh, that's a tough one. Probably Schultz. The hammer. The hammer. The ha you yeah. know, Big Bird gave him a run for the money, and not everybody thinks Robinson's tough with the fisticuffs. He, he a little underrated, would you say? I think so, but uh, you know what? The hammer with his reputation, it would have been nice just to just to have uh, one with him. Actually, uh, I'm good friends with him now. So Ken Holland, the general manager, the mastermind behind the success of the Detroit Red Wings. Pleasure to have you here. Nice to be here. It's great. Congratulations on the Big Cup win. You've been with the team forever now, man. Are you just permanently going to be a Detroit Red Wing? Well, that's what I hope. We'll see. Do you ever see Stevie Y kind of taking the reins and you moving up the chain for Jimmy D? Uh, possibly that's going to happen. I mean, obviously, I'm still a young man. Uh, we'll see what the next two, three years bring. It's awfully nice to congratulate you on your very first Stanley Cup win as a head coach and now joining the Red Wings for another three years. How, how do you feel in Hockey Town, USA? Is, is it is it you're going to be your permanent home? Do you want to retire in a place like that? You know, I never really thought about retiring there. I know where I'm going to live. Uh, you know, I grew up there, and so I'm going to stay in Saskatchewan. But the reality is, the coach in Hockey Town is a thrill come true. Norris Trophy candidate once again, Nicholas Lidstrom. Does it ever get old? Oh, it never gets old. It never gets old being part of this and you know playing playing for the Stanley Cup and winning it. So it's it's fun coming here. I got a very pressing question, something that these guys might not have asked you before. They've got the Richard Trophy. They've got the Norris Trophy. Are we going to see a Bobby Orr Trophy in our lifetime? Are we? Would you feel good about that, man? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, he was a fantastic player when he played, so you never know. The big man Zdeno Chara going up for the Norris Trophy. I got to look way up at you, big guy, but you played great all year long. How does it feel to be recognized? It's a, it's a huge honor. I'm very humbled to be a part of this. Now you're up against Nikki Lidstrom. 
the guy's got his name tattooed on this thing for crying out loud. Is it intimidating being nominated when you know you're up against the likes of Nick Lidstrom? Yeah, I mean, uh, they should probably re rename that whole uh, award and uh, Lindstrom uh, uh, award. But uh, Now, wait, I asked him earlier, there's the Norris, do you go ahead and do you give one up to Bobby Orr and do a Bobby Orr and a Norris trophy? Uh, that would be awesome, but I don't know. We'll see.